convenience over discomfort. Because a lot of times when you choose convenience, you're choosing discomfort. And it may not seem like that in the moment, right? Because I need something quickly, I need something fast, I need something I just need, you know, and that need piece in the moment is strong and it's heavy and I get that. But we all know, we all know. And if you don't, like this is gonna be light bulb moment, but I'm pretty sure we all know if you go grocery shopping at the convenience store at the end of the street, that is like when I say convenience store that is selling gasoline and selling other things like and they don't have a huge wide selection but they've got enough that it's like hey if you've got a if you forgot something if you've got something you need in a, in a pinch right you need toilet paper in a pinch um pardon my, my <laughs> phrasing there but uh I think we all know if you regularly shop at the convenience store versus the big box grocery store you're going to spend more money on your groceries for the convenience of it might be a block away or two blocks away versus the big box store that may be two miles away or four miles away or more. We all know we're paying more for the convenience, right? And so the discomfort is in that scenario, when you get to the end of the month and you go, where'd all my money go? Right? Or you say, uh Oh, I have to, I can't pay my credit card bill now, and so now I'm gonna to have to pay interest on it because I didn't make enough money. Although you may have had you shopped at the big box store. The other piece of it, of course, is when it comes to health and food, right? The convenience piece of it. It's the convenient thing to do is not plan, not prepare, and just run into whatever fast food joint you see on the road that's close to your work for lunch and then you get the discomfort later on, maybe that day, it could be some bowel discomfort, some gastrointestinal discomfort, or it definitely will be longer, if, you, if that's a habit for you, a longer term discomfort in years to come of, I've got chronic disease showing up. And that's a big discomfort. And especially if it shows up in like in heart related problems right? Nobody wants that discomfort. Nobody wants to have to have a pacemaker put in or all these tests run where they're going inside you looking at your heart. Nobody wants any of that. Like, but that's the discomfort that comes with the convenience piece of it. So how do you avoid the convenience, right? How do you avoid the convenience is you have to put the discomfort in perspective. You have to label it. You have to understand what it is. And let that be the instigator for you to plan appropriately. If you plan appropriately, you can go to the grocery store that's farther away. It takes longer to do. But if you plan appropriately, you can go there once or maybe twice a week and get everything you need and not forget anything that's going to cause you to go to the convenience store. Because we all know if you go to a convenience store, you're not just going to get what you need. They market it that on purpose, right? There's a reason why there's so many different little either snack foods or kotchkis or whatever that are right by the checkout, right? Because they're like, oh, I'm going to tempt you. While, while the cashier is taking their time to do everything, I'm going to tempt you for you to just go, oh, yeah, hey, add this to that, right? And there goes another 2 or $3 out your pocket for something that you didn't need, right? Because you didn't go in there needing that. You ended there needing the toilet paper because you ran out or, you know, a, a, a last minute thing from an ingredient for a, for a meal because you ran out or you went there for ice because you forgot ice and you didn't put ice trays in your freezer. And so, and then you get in there and you're like, oh, hey, yeah, throw this on there. Well, if you do that four or five times a week, even if you do it four or five times a month, that could be 20, 30 bucks, either a week or a month. Out your pocket on a convenience standpoint. When if you pre-plan, so it's all about pre-planning. It's all about putting the plan and then living the plan. And I've talked about that before in other life lessons 
I've written a book about it. There's another book that's going to be coming hopefully next year um, about preparation and how that all works and how it can change your life if you prepare properly. But it's not just in one piece or one area of your life. It's everything. But it all relates to the same. It's, it, it's the same steps. As far as the logistical pieces of it, it's the same steps. Obviously, they're going to be different when it comes to if it's food or if it's money or if it's work or if it's relationships. The actual step is different, but the planning piece is the same. If you don't prepare, you're going to fail. Or you're going to be extremely lucky once and succeed and then think that that's just the way it works all the time. And it doesn't. But it's going to cause you to not prepare because you're going to remember, oh, but it worked that one time when I didn't have to do anything. So maybe it'll do it again. And then you're going to fall on your face. So taking that discomfort that you know is coming. Because let's face it, that's part of life. Life is not comfortable. Okay? Life is not meant to be comfortable. It's meant to be difficult. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to test us. So take that discomfort that you know is coming and figure out how can I avoid this? And you avoid it by planning, by making things and, and living to the plan. And you don't, you do not avoid it by doing the convenient things. You just don't, you know, and the convenient things would be when it comes to exercise would be, eh, I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm just going to do a little bit and I'm not going to keep growing. I'm not going to put a goal out there. I'm not going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit. And then the convenient piece becomes, I'm going to start sleeping in and I'm going to start snoozing my button because, eh, I mean, it's not really that important. I'll put it off until the next week or I'll put it off until the next month or I'll put it off till I retire. And unfortunately, that's just too long. And so the convenient piece of getting your getting the extra sleep or getting extra whatever and putting it off is going to cause you a lot of discomfort later in life. A lot. Both physically and financially. Because let me tell you, healthcare costs, they're not slowing down. They're not coming down. They're not slowing down. No matter what you maybe hear about, like, you know, these things are becoming cheaper to do and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, those are becoming cheaper to do, but the, the next things down the pipeline are not so cheap. And I'm sorry, but if you have to have a bypass surgery done and you want it done right, so you're going to go to a good doctor, right? Like, you're going to want to, you're going to want the best. Like, let's not fool ourselves, right? We're going to want the best that we can afford. And we want the best hospital and we want the best of all of those things. And so, and this is a pre-inflation number. So this, I haven't adjusted this for the inflation we've gone through in the last two years. Okay, so this number's before that, so I can't even imagine what it is now. Um, but you're looking at about $250,000 before insurance. And a lot of insurance companies will cap you at 100000 Or you'll have a deductible that's maybe high in that instance, right? Because you're paying 80-20 and you're paying 20% of it. And so you got to keep paying. Well, if you have that if you have that bypass surgery or heart attack or whatever that, that's needing you to have surgery on your heart that's going to cost you two hundred or $250,000, you have it in December and your deductible restarts in January, how much of that are you paying? That's discomfort. That's major discomfort because of the conveniences that you wanted to take in place in your 30s and 40s. And shocker, there's people having bypass surgeries in their 30s and 40s now. And that's just going to continue. So not trying to be Debbie Downer, but just trying to put the perspective on it that if you don't find the places where you're trying to be convenient with your life, then you're going to find you're trying to be more convenient in everything. And convenience is not going to get you where you want to go. 
Shortcuts don't get you where you want to go. You miss steps. You don't do things right. And things aren't going to last. So identify the discomfort that you're trying to avoid. And realize that that discomfort is probably going to be compounded later in life. So you can try and avoid it now. But there's ways around it if you plan and prepare and just attack it versus trying to avoid it. So uh, plan and prepare basically is the message. So avoid the convenience to avoid the discomfort by planning and preparing every, th every part of your life. And yeah, it can be boring. And I'm not saying you can't be spontaneous. Go be spontaneous every, every now and then. That's great. But there's areas of your life that cannot be 100% 100% spontaneous, 100% looking for the convenient, easy way out. Because that's going to lead to 100% discomfort down the road. So plan and prepare. Get yourself in line. Avoid those discomforts by avoiding the convenience.